The story begins with Nick, an experienced adventurer whose party is led by his mentor and father figure Argus. Following the completion of their latest job, Nick discovers a chunk of the money has gone missing and realizes one of the party members is the culprit. To his surprise, Argus forgives the member and instead expels Nick after being accused of also embezzling funds. One night after several weeks in a downward spiral, Nick ends up in a local tavern where fate leads him to meet three fellow adventurers. After a night of drinking, the four bond over their betrayals and their destroyed ability to trust anyone. This is when Nick hatches on the idea for the four to form a party. Thus the story begins with a party of adventurers united in their belief that humans are bastards and desire to make some honest coin. This city full of dangers and opportunities is widely known as the Labyrinth City. In the city structured like an actual labyrinth, young people gamble with their life day after day. Our hero his name is Nick, a light fighter from the popular adventurer group, Countless Battle Arts. His boss said to him Nick, you are no longer needed at our party. Ha! Huh? Nick said to himself, but Argus, who is like a father to me, kicked me out of the party. And the girl I thought was my lover betrayed and dumped me. Before I knew it, I turned into a total idol geek. And he remembers his conversation with Argus when he told him about his friend who took the money to get some woman Argus said to him we're not just talking about Carrazzo here. Your mindset doesn't fit an adventurer. I took you to the party and raised you since you're just a kid, but it seems like you think you can talk big now. What are you? We're done talking. We don't think alike. You're your own man now. Go find somewhere else that fits you better. After that we see Nick so sad and feel lonely this girl sees him and gives him a ticket for a party and an umbrella and said to him make sure you come, mister. Nick feels good now and says all right, time to find party members in the usual adventurer's meeting place. Gotta earn money the proper way to feed my idle hobbies. Nick remembers his boss's words, you're not fit to be an adventurer. The day is end and Nick cannot find anyone because he cannot bring himself to trust anyone anymore. The next day we see Nick set lonely and said I don't think I can laugh like that ever again. Then he sits next to him, two girls and one person. And Nick star to collect information about them. That gem seems to be an antique, it's probably worth a lot. Not to mention everything she wears hints that she's from a well-off lineage I'm sure she's raised quite well. That said, she seems so out of place here. She looks like a mage, but is she maybe like, an assassin? The priest already had drinks before this, not with the two other girls, it seems. Maybe from a cabaret club? He reeks of cosmetics. Not wearing the standard medal, either. An excommunicated priest, huh? A healer is vital to a party, but not one person is asking him out. The last girl is a dragon kind. She might seem like a veteran in battle, but she's just like a cornered animal. Then finally all of them said in a loud voice, there's no way I can trust humans. Let's come now more about this our four heroes the first one is Tiana she said that she won't learn magic to obtain success in life, she simply studies it to improve herself. Magic doesn't exist simply to make your life more convenient. To study magic is to study human society. In fact, one would study what makes up the world itself. One day she goes to her fiancé Alex Alex said to her you seem to be doing well today. Did you surprise the teachers again with your oh so incredible magic? She said I'll be able to skip a year and graduate. His girl said oh my, she's just like what we just talked about. Tiana said, who is the lady? She said I am Lini, the eldest daughter of the house Delcott. Alex said to Tiana you were harassing Lini at the academy, didn't you? Tiana, I know that you were planning to trick Lini. What are you talking about? She even seduced the teachers. You. You didn't just insult me, you insulted the whole academy. The teachers are under suspicion of taking bribes and rigging student scores. That's ridiculous. I'm putting this to an end, Tiana. It's over now I'm done with being your fiancé, I'm done with being ridiculed every day. 
and then they were separated. She feels sad and looked for work and no one help her. They said to her sorry, but we already have enough people here. After that, she finds Terrain Dragon race ticket and pays her all of the money unfortunately she lost all of her money in gambling. She said how am I going to pay the rent? Tiana decided to run again, but everyone rejects her for her serious facial features. この<笑> The next is Zem Father Zem. He said this city, I was from has a temple under Meddler, the god of revelation, famous for its medicines. I was one of the priests there. Meryl is a young girl who falls in love with Father Zem. He said to her, you're like a spoiled child today. But she did not listen and said, no, I'm already an adult. I want to take another step into adulthood. Zem said to Meryl, thank you, Meryl. Please understand that I am a priest. I am not allowed to be anyone's lover, try to strive for yourself, Meryl. And then she went to accelerate and I decided to punish him. After that some people want to arrest it on charges that he harassed the little girl and then he was arrested. He's been in prison for three months. After three months, they expelled him. Not a single soul believed that I was innocent. And the people in the city said to him, get out of this town, you pervert freak. Then he went to his girlfriend's house and offered to treat her for the night. The day after she thanked him and then offered him to become an adventurer and go out of the country because they didn't know his value. Make some friends, find a lover, and adventure through many things you haven't seen. And she gave him this thing in the present Zam said to our group the truth is, I'm going to go defeat the demon lord after this. The last girl is a dragon kind. And she did not talk too much she said that something very important to me was taken away. By the person I held the dearest. So yeah, I told him not to take it. Dids, obviously, she's totally drunk. In the next day Nick said, who the hell are these people? And then he remember they fell asleep pretty last night. There's no way I can trust humans. And he said to him, hang on, will we be all right like this? If we just go on our way, will our life even get better? We've wasted our money on idols, food, gambling, and women. We don't even know if we can keep a roof over our heads tomorrow. There's no telling when we can no longer do the thing we love. Are you fine with that? Are you okay with things just continuing like that? Don't you care if we'll stop being able to do the things we love? Even if you say so. Which is why, the four of us might not trust anyone, but how about we form a party? One day, these people will end up saving the world, but that is still a long way off in the future. Next episode, Strongest Party Formed? Survivors. <laughs>